Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on a Command TNT Duper um, or Bomber. So basically what we have going on over here is I have a re repeat command block that I'm going to summon TNT right underneath the command block and it's going to drop down an unlimited amount of TNT for us is the basic version over here. We have repeat unconditional needs redstone and I put an 80 tick delay on it. And then I have forward slash summon, TNT, tilde tilde, negative one tilde. And what that means is one block underneath the command block. And then a through a lever on it over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And you can see that it will start summoning unlimited TNT for us on that small delay. If you guys want the TNT to summon faster, you do a smaller tick delay number. If you want it to be slower, you do a larger tick delay number. And of course, if you always wanted TNT to forever activate, you could put it on always active. I recommend using Needs Redstone. If you guys are finding this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe over here to Arctic Shark Games on YouTube. I do all kinds of different command block videos and stuff like that. And if you guys find it fun, please go ahead and throw a like on there as well. Now, one more thing that I have going for us in this video is I have a... TNT bomber set up so to speak and I have one command that's going to be running that bomber for us as well as I put some armor stands over here with a basic flying machine. Now this flying machine is not my design it's just something that I whipped up for us over here as an example and we're going to be executing at these armor stands with the name TNT bomber. You can see that all of them have the same name here. So I took a name tag and I put it over here on an anvil and I named the name tag TNT bomber all lowercase and then I name tagged all my armor stands or I at least got it ready and then I have my command block over here is repeat unconditional needs redstone and it's forward slash execute at entity type equals armor stand name equals TNT bomber run summon TNT and then it's tilde tilde negative two tilde so what that means is it's going to summon a piece of TNT underneath each one of these armor stands two blocks below so that way it's not inside of this contraption here with the slime machine now real quick I will whip up one of these um, flying machines for us here um, if you guys want to stop the flying machine what you would do is go ahead on this other direction over here and we would line ourselves up with where the flying machine is going to be and we would build a tower of unmovable blocks you could use obsidian or and if you're in if you're in creative like we probably are with our commands here you can go ahead and use bedrock as well and the flying machine will go ahead and slam into the bedrock now what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to go first place down a observer and the red dot should be facing us and then we're going to go second and we're going to put down a piston i'm putting a regular piston facing this direction because i want the flying machine to fly this way towards this tower. If I wanted to fly the other way, I would put a sticky piston in this direction and I would have the other piston be the regular piston. And then we're going to put down two honey blocks. We're going to spin around. We're going to put another observer down, make sure that red dot's facing us. Then we're going to use our sticky piston and we're going to put down two honey blocks. And then I like to put a solid block here to try to pull my armor stand along. And then we're going to go ahead and put a Armor stand down, and we're going to name him that special name that we did earlier, TNT Bomber. So now we're going to go ahead and get ready to launch off our bombers here. I'm going to turn my command block on, and they should all start shooting TNT. If I break a block with those observer eyes there, then the machines will start to fly. And here we go. Now we have all our machines flying here. Oh, it looks like I didn't even line my tower up with this one here. But had it hit the tower, it would have stopped. You can see we could stop the machine by using a block of obsidian. And otherwise, the TNT bombers will just infinitely fly off into the distance. Now, like I said, if you wanted to reverse this bomber here, we would go ahead and put our armor stand on the other side. And we would make sure he's name tag. We're going to get rid of that there. We have our solid block there now. And then we would just switch the orientation of our piston. So we put the sticky piston here. We put the regular piston here. And then we would go ahead and activate this machine with the eyes of the observer. We can put a block down and it'll start to go the other direction. 
Oh, and it looks like it glitched out in this direction here and it actually made the armor stand fall. But if you're careful with it, it, you can get them to stick on there. Make sure you place them directly in the center of the block there. If you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe over here at Arctic Shark Games on YouTube. And throw a like on the video. If you guys are into command blocks and stuff like that, or if you needed help with command blocks, feel free to jump into the Shark Commanders Discord, which I'll leave a link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, and keep on commanding.